Hi, Mark the Techno Bear here. So I've not done a video for a while and that's because I've been working on many different projects which I'll be bringing you over the next few weeks. So if you want to hear more about those, subscribe below. So today though, I'm going to be releasing a project uh, that I've been working on for a little while. Um, a few of you might remember that I did a video where I showed the Push 2 and Raspberry Pi 3 running the Monome Norns software. Um, and I did that because I couldn't really afford the Monome hardware. So I was very interested when Stephen Noreko approached me and said that he was producing a PCB and a kit, basically, to produce a DIY Norns. And this is basically the result. It costs about 100 euros or so uh, to buy. Um, I've put a Raspberry Pi 4 inside it, so it's actually a little bit more powerful than the modern hardware. Um, but it's completely compatible. Now this has given me the ability to actually work on some software for Nords. And obviously what I wanted to do was to have ORAC running on this natively so I could have some hands-on control, like I do on the Organelle. So actually this required a couple of different projects. Not only writing something for uh, the hardware here to talk to ORAC, but also I needed a way to switch applications. So I've created an application called Sidekick, which allows you to launch applications. So that I'm going to be releasing today. And then the final thing I've been doing as well is I've been producing an API for Pure Data and for C++, which enables you to interact with this hardware. So basically the enclosures, the butters, and the display. Um, so what this means is that combined with Sidekick, you can actually create your own Pure Data applications that run on this and you can launch them. So let's go and have a look at all of that. So Sidekick also allows you to very easily install other applications uh, and pure data patches, etc. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Um, again, on the desktop, I've downloaded these two uh, patches from patch storage that have been converted. Uh, the first one is just a very simple 
application that uh, just shows the encoders and the second one is a, a small polyphonic synth which is actually adapted from the organelle. Um, now to install these all we need to do is we come into the non time directory again we can see the sidekick directory here and we can see the patches directory and we simply need to just drag these files here to copy them onto the non stack bags. That's it. So now refresh menu and we will be able to see the files that are available and then we can just select one to install it. And now it's installed, now we can run it just like any other application. So this application is very, very simple. It just shows you what buttons are being pressed on the display and also allows you to see the encoder values. But it's very useful if you want to learn how to use the Pure Data External for NUI. Let's look at a Pure Data patch that actually produces sound. This is actually a conversion of a patch from the organelle. So if you want to see how to convert an organelle patch for the norms, have a look at this patch as an example. Okay, so I've shown you how to launch arbitrary PD applications. Now what I'm going to do is to show you how to actually develop applications on the norms. Now if you've got DIY norms, you could just plug in a monitor into the HDMI port and a keyboard in and you could do it directly on the norms itself. Um, however, the mono norms hardware doesn't have an HDMI port. Um, but that's not a problem. What I actually like to do is to actually develop it remotely on my Mac. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. And this will work with either the DIY norms or the main norms as well. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to SSH into the norms. Now we need to specify the flag minus capital Y. And the reason for that is that this actually sets up a connection that's suitable to rebroadcast the X windows back onto this display. Apart from that, identical, just sleep to get in. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to stop Sidekick. Now what I do usually here is, is I bring up the Sidekick menu first of all to make sure that no other applications like Norns or Pudator is running at the moment. Um, and then I do this command. That's system control, CTL, stop Sidekick. Now don't worry. This only stops it for now. If you reboot the norms, it will start up again without any issues. Now what we need to do is we need to turn, go into the Sidekick directory. And we then need to run the command Sidekick, which is USR such local Sidekick, Sidekick. Now, another tip here. Whenever Sidekick starts, if you hold button one down while it's starting, it won't launch the last application. It will actually just bring up the main menu, which is obviously useful here because I, I want to start the PD application. Um, but that's also useful, for example, when the norms is booting up. You can also force it to bring up the menu rather than starting up the application. Okay, now what we need to do is on the norms is actually just start one of the applications. And I'm going to start the simple one. And as if by magic, it suddenly appears on this display. Now be under no illusion, this is the patch running on the Norns box. Now we can see actually in this patch, I can get rid of this, just shut this window for the moment, um, a few interesting things. First of all, we can actually see that if I press the buttons, we can see little checkboxes coming on here. And as I turn the encoders, we can see values changing here. So let's have a little look at how this works. So if we zoom in a bit, 
we can actually see over this side here, this new EPD. And this is the external that does everything. It, dis it talks to the display and it also uh, sends back information about the encoders and buttons being pressed. And if we look at the patch up here, we can see the messages that are being sent by it. So the received NUI buttons is obviously the, where we're getting the button presses, zero, one, two, or three. And we're getting also the things from the encoders. Uh, now I've got four here because I've got um, uh, DIY norms with four encoders, but obviously the, the normal norms only has three, but that's okay, it'll still work. Um, we can also do things like send messages to this PD application like info, uh, where it can then tell us how many encoders and buttons it's got. And we can also actually uh, do things like clear the display. We can um, set the text, um, etc. And you'll see here we've actually, we've got different methods. So we can either draw the text into the display or we can actually do display text which is a simplified version, which is based on lines and columns rather than pixels. Um, uh, generally, the format is uh, the color um, and then row, column or line, column. Um, and that's about it. The other perhaps interesting point here, you can see that this is continually sending um, this process message to the external. This process message is the thing that actually will dispatch these encoder messages. So without this, you won't do it. The one says to automatically paint um, the display um, every time they get the process message. You can actually send in zero and then you could send in uh, paint messages manually if you wanted to. So it's a very simple API. So now what I'm going to do is I've come back to the menu and I'm going to launch uh, PolyPD, which is the other Pure Data application that I've developed in the same way. And this is actually, as I say, this is converted from uh, an organelle patch as it happens. And actually anybody that's familiar with organelle patches will see the familiar uh, receiving of knob one, two, three, and four and screen lines, etc. So I've hardly modified it really. What I've actually done is inside this mother patch, um, which looks vaguely familiar <laughs> to Organelle people again. Um, and then I've inside the message IO here, you can actually see that what I've done is I've integrated the new PD and I've basically got the new buttons coming in here. And I've done things like sort out the screen lines. I convert them into display text messages. So a very simple, uh, conversion process really. So that's it for today. All right, running on the norms. And we've also got Sidekick to enable us to run arbitrary applications on the norms. And also finally, the new EPD external so that you can develop your own pure data applications. So I hope people enjoy that. If you'd like to know more about these things, please leave some comments below. And of course, subscribe to hear what's coming up in the future. Thank you.